What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Steals Forever, and I'm back with another video, another weekly pickups. This is number three of the weekly pickup series, and I got a, a pretty good you know, selection of games I picked up over the weekend <clears throat> or the last week. And the first game I picked up this week was for the uh, PlayStation 2 and the Rati IT Stories. Radi IT or Rati IT. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm pretty sure I'm not, but it's Rati IT Stories. And it's uh, made by Square Enix. It's an RPG. If you haven't uh, noticed by you know by my videos, I'm a huge I'm a huge RPG fan. So basically, I kind of pick up and collect you know pretty much RPGs most of the time. Not saying I don't like action games, but I'm really just more into RPGs. Um, the second game I picked up for the PlayStation 2 was Xeno Saga <coughs> Episode 1. Right there, picked it up as well. Heard good things about it. Haven't really played. Haven't played it at all, actually. Uh, just picked it up a couple of days ago. Picked it up. The second game, the third game I picked up was for the PlayStation 2 and I was kind of surprised I actually found this one in GameStop and it was um, Devil <coughs> Devil Summoner by uh, oh man please don't make me say this Shin Megaten Tanami I think I said that right uh, but I know I didn't probably but it's Devil Summoner and these um these RPGs in this uh, series is kind of like hard to find at least you know where I stay at so when I saw this one on the shelf um Saturday that just passed. I just went ahead and grabbed this one. It was like for uh fifteen fourteen ninety nine actually. And um, you know, in the GameStop you get the um the extra ten percent off. So I picked it up as well. Another RPG. Heard up heard pretty good things about it. I heard it's not, you know, not as good as Persona three or Persona Four or some of the other titles in the series, but you know, still worth having, definitely, you know, collecting RPGs and and whatnot, so I grabbed it and picked it up, and, and then also it's in like excellent condition too. Also, if you look at the book, it's almost like really in mint condition, except for I think like yeah, there was a little nick right here on the book, which is really you can't even really see, but really it's in mint condition actually. So I went ahead and picked that one up. Also, I picked up for the PlayStation 2 Final Fantasy 10 Part 2. Um. I mean, it's kind of funny with this one because I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan, a uh, Final Fantasy fan, but I, I mean, I don't know. It was just something about you know Part Ten that just never really appealed to me. But um, I seen it, it was like eight ninety nine, you know, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. You know, ten percent all that it was probably about six fifty. So you know, I just went ahead and picked it up. You know, and surprisingly, you know, in GameStop you don't really come across too many well conditioned games, and this was another one that's actually in pretty really and really honestly in really good shape really like in mint condition too real good booklet and this so that was a great pickup to the collection oh, my phone is ringing sorry about that uh the next game i picked up was for the psp and i don't know why like every time i go to our super walmart for some reason if you guys are in super walmart you really need to look for this section that we have i don't know if it's in all super walmart but they have a section uh, almost right beside the video game section where they have these huge dump loads of $10 games for the, like PSP, DS, you know, all the systems, PlayStation 2, Xbox, PlayStation 3, uh, Nintendo Wii, the DS, and they like $10, like $10 games. And I ran across Final Fantasy Tactics. And I'm not, I'm not really a huge fan of, um, you know, conventional tactic games, but like I said, I'm a huge, you know, fan of Final Fantasy, so I was like, you know, you know what the hell Final Fantasy Tactics and then it's actually the black box not the greatest hit for ten dollars cool I grabbed it brand new copy uh, it's pretty good though I haven't really played too much of it uh, I popped it in my PSP uh, last night and played through a little bit of it because I was trying to you know give it a chance because I'm not really like I said I'm not really big into strategy games like that strategy RPGs but um, I was just like well you know I haven't really, really, you know, sat down and um, and played one, so I was like, well, what better way to, you know, to kind of break into one would be with Final Fantasy Tactics. If you guys have any um, um, recommendations of any real good strategy games, you know, RPGs or, you know, any, any basically any good strategy games, uh, leave a comment or 
uh, email me or whatever on on the YouTube page. You know, you know, I definitely try to check them out. Cause I'm definitely trying to get, you know, broaden my horizons into the tactics, the tactic type series, strategy series. Uh, in the last game I bought, it was like, yo, I really, I mean, the last game I bought was for my 360. It came out like two weeks ago, and it's Star Ocean for Last Hope. This isn't. I know, like, there's a lot of people on the sites, <clears throat> on different websites, and reviewers are saying, like, okay, you know, I'm not even going. I'm not even really going to say much about this game because I'm gonna actually go back and do my first. I'm gonna do a first impression video on this game. But this, this is really an excellent RPG. That's all I'm gonna say. This is an excellent RPG. I'm not saying it's a perfect RPG because it does have some flaws in it, but this is an excellent, excellent RPG. Screw what you have heard. This is a really, really great game. Star Ocean the Four, The Last Hope. If you don't have it and you're into RPGs and you like really want to put time into an RPG, this is definitely the one to pick up right this moment. This is a great game. Like I said, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a, a first impression. I'll probably just go ahead and as soon as I wrap this one up. I'm gonna go right into and do this um, first impressions of, you know, my thoughts and things about Star Ocean for the Last Hope. Uh, that was that was all I picked up this week. You know, picked up about uh, five or six games, but I think like most of the games I bought was high quality games, at least in my opinion. So, um, you know, we got Resident 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 Evil <laughs> Five. Dropping um, Thursday night because we're doing like a GameStop. I got reserved regular version. Um, I didn't get the collector's edition because and, like after they they promoted it and like I saw what came actually with the collector's edition. I just didn't feel like shilling out. I think it was like maybe eighty or ninety dollars for a tote bag, a patch, with two patches and a tote bag, and basically uh, instead of the plastic. You know, it was like metal with the making of Resident Evil 5. I'm like, you know, come on, y'all. And a little action figure. And I'm like, you know, they could at least give us, like, the the Resident Evil, the DVD. I think uh, the, the DVD that just came out a little earlier. Or, you know, at least like they did with the Street Fighter, how they actually put the DVD in the game or something. You know, if you're going to spend $80, $90 on a collector's edition. But that was just my opinion. So I got the regular version. And I will be bringing my uh, camera with me for the midnight release so you know I was, and I'll be putting the footage up on YouTube and everything yeah I'm not dragging this video I didn't mean to but I'm just trying to get in some extras you know while I got the camera um so that's about it I'm gonna wrap this one up I'm gonna uh, jump on the Star Ocean Last Hope uh, first impressions check that out please don't forget to comment and subscribe it's your boy Steals Forever peace out later